and welcome to this slightly different type of vlog to anything I've done before. The reason why I'm doing this vlog is basically because I got inspired. Uh, because over the last few months, some people have approached me and asked if I could please help them to find their new uh, horse. And this is something I really love. I love the, the whole thing about finding new horses for people, for myself and to buy and sell. Um, so, this made me think uh, and dig deeper into the process of buying this new horse. So, to explain this, um, or to try to explain it at least, I have made three different profiles of uh, riders or owners, which would then, each one will lead us to a different list of traits and undesirable qualities that you will have in a horse. So to explain this further, let's dig into my three profiles and uh, see if it makes any sense or not. So the way I've done it is I've done it like this. And then I have my goal, ambition, dream. Now these are three random people. And then I have done my abilities, strengths, weaknesses, pluses, minuses, and last but not least, the most important bit, my horse. And then I have divided it in like this. High priorities, will not consider, desirable, excuse my spelling, considered, bonus. Right. So this first rider, her goal is to find her new best friend. So she wants a really good bond with her horse. But she also wants to compete advanced medium dressage. Then if you see a little bit farther ahead, her ambition, she would really like to do a PSG and she would like to do some low level show jumping as well. And then you have that dream, you know, the one that you always are seeking up to and looking to. Don't be frightened of dreaming big, but do have little goals on the roads. Anyway, so her dream is that she would love to compete at Grand Prix in dressage and she would like to have a young horse which she can take up through the levels and do it on. So. Then we come to my abilities, strengths and weaknesses. So on her plus side, it says that she's a positive rider, brave, she has a good seat, she's clever, she thinks outside the box, calm, <laughs> and tall, slim, which means that she can ride a wide variety of horses, even though they're might a bit smaller, she's still little enough and light enough to still ride them. She has soft hands, she is very mobile, uh, she has a good support system, she has a good trainer, and she has experience with young horses. Now, on the minus side, she is scarer rearing. She has an injury to her left arm, which means that she's weaker. Um, because of this, she likes horses, which are a bit forward thinking as well, but not strong. Uh, her budget isn't that great. I put down £5,000, so it's not bad bad but it's not that much either so my conclusions after having those two would be like this so on the high priority list what she really needs to be able to to achieve her goal or come to close to it as she can the horse needs to have good paces it needs to have a trainable attitude it needs to be good to travel um, have a good canter because to be able to get a, a good change it needs to have a decent canter um, she needs a horse that's good with the farrier and the vet uh, preferably has good confirmation again then she needs something with a soft contact or a light contact she doesn't want anything under 16 hands and she likes them forwards thinking now she will not consider horses that kicks are lazy, are too strong because of her injury, uh, rearing, because that's what she's frightened of, under 16 hand, no stallions, she doesn't want any vices and she doesn't want any old injuries. Desirable treats, she'd like a horse to be, have an easy temperament, uh, she would love it to be over 16 too. Because she seeks a new best friend, she also likes the horse to be affectionate and cuddly and loving and you know, she li would like it to enjoy hacking, uh, she'd like to enjoy uh, the horse enjoy jumping and she would like the horse to be able to sit and collect. Mission and dream is bigger than her goal. Uh, she would consider horses with these treats as well. <clears throat> a horse that bites, 
a bit hot, that box is somewhere between 16 and 16 too. That isn't affectionate and huggy and cuddly. A horse is a bit cheeky, a bit spooky, a bit lively. Um, a horse that doesn't hack, it's not on her high priority list that it has to hack. She'd like it to hack, but it doesn't have to. Um, she wouldn't mind buying something and taking it as far as she can take it or, and then sell it to widen her budget um, so that she can come and work towards her dream. Now, the, a bonus would be if she found a horse which had all of these traits, were a bit younger, was brave, had a fun personality and had big pieces. Now my number two profile is slightly different. Here we have somebody um, whose goal is to find a new best friend. She likes to go on fun rides, sponsored rides, rides down the beach, you know, just have a good time with her horse. And she'd love to go and compete in Novice Dressage. That's a nice, nice goal. Uh, her ambition is a bit bigger. She'd like to win a Novice class. She'd like to compete elementary and she would love to have a go at, at uh, a medium. And her dream is to get a point in medium and to overcome the fear of jumping. So her abilities and strengths and weaknesses are as follows. On the plus side, we have a good budget, £15,000. Uh, she's a nice and a calm person. She has also good support. She's a fit and strong lady. She has a good understanding of individuality. She's experienced. Um, she's at a yard with good trainers on. Uh, she has trained and ridden up to medium before. Um, she would be very open to different sorts of breeds of horses and she likes forward thinking horses. Now, the minus of hers, um, she's a bit nervous about big horses. She hates bucking, rearing and napping. That's something that she, you know, she doesn't like at all. She had a bad fall in jumping, which has knocked her confidence. Uh, and she has no experience with young horses. So, looking at these two, I have come to this conclusion when it comes to what she needs to look for in her new horse. On the high priority list, you really want a horse that is experienced in going out. You know, has been out, seen it all, doesn't... She is ginger, you know, a very calm and steady horse. Uh, she doesn't want anything above 16-1. Because even though it might be the nicest horse, that little trigger in her head says that I don't like big horses, they're a bit scary. Um, it has to have a nice temperament and personality. She doesn't want anything under six years old. Needs to be good hacking and needs to have regular paces. She won't consider a horse a box rear naps is above 16 one, under six years old. It's a stallion or is a little bit too lively or cheeky and playful whilst ridden. Now, desirable treats, if you want to look a little bit ahead of the goal, is that she'd like a horse which is forward thinking. Uh, she does not mind an older horse at all to gain experience on and to find her confidence on. She'd like a horse which is uphill because you will need that if you want to go up to the medium classes. And the same with the good pieces. Uh, and she would like it to be good with the farrier and the vet. She would consider a, a green older horse. A horse that's a bit lazy. Uh, a heavier bred type. A horse which is a show jumper. Uh, she would also consider having smaller pieces. She doesn't mind if the horse had had insignificant blemishes or smaller injuries to it in the past as long as it doesn't come into play and will act against her when it's in work. Uh, a bonus for this lady would be, uh, if it was a schoolmaster, as we talked about, that it was trained to or above medium and that it has good pieces. Now, because her budget is quite good and she's quite open in what she would like, uh, she has a little bit more to go on and she might even be able to go out and look for her dream where the other person, because of her limited budget, would struggle much more. One, because her dream is very quite high, and two, because her budget is very, very limited. Now, you can take a punt on something young, 
or you can find something that someone has missed. Realistically, it will be harder and it might take a bit longer. Now, profile number three. <clears throat> but it's completely different. So her goal is to compete 110 show jumping. Uh, she wants to go elementary dressage and she likes to go on sponsored rides. Her ambition is to go 120s, uh, do advanced medium dressage and novice cross country. And her dream is to be able to go and touch the 140 show jumpings and to ride pre St George dressage. Her abilities, strengths and weaknesses are as followed. On the plus side, we have brave, experienced, bold, uh, which is working with horses. So she has very good possibilities to go out, come with people, uh, get good support, back up. She's experienced with backing young horses and training youngsters. Uh, she's very, very open-minded and she wouldn't mind to have to buy something or to reschool it to sell it on. The minus side, she has a bad budget. Her budget is only two and a half thousand pounds. She hasn't had her own horse before. She's only worked with horses. She has never ridden anything which is experienced. She's only ridden young stars. She has competed to one meter show jumping, not bigger and not ridden higher than novice dressage. So this horse or my horse list will be slightly different or quite different compared to the other ones. So in her high priority list, she has put, he has to enjoy jumping, he has to have regular paces, it needs to be trainable, it needs to be sound, and it needs to be good to travel. Because she, she won't consider anything below 15-1, or someone who has old injuries, or is under the uh, three years old. Desirable treat would be that it was backed, though she wouldn't mind having to back it herself. Uh, that it has been out to a few shows, that it's good with the father and the vet, has good scope to come a bit higher, uh, has nice paces because again she wants to develop in both show jumping and dressage, has good conformation and a good mouth. She would consider horses, which was young and unbacked as I said, horses that are a bit playful or a bit cheeky, uh, older horses she would also consider, inexperienced ones, spooky horses, Horses that has some vices. Horses that hasn't been handled as long as they're not under three years old. Has a bit of a difficult past that you would have to re-school. Uh, different breeds, stallions, or if somebody would like to lease her or sponsor her if they see her talent in the horse. Bonus would obviously be if the horse was cross-country schooled or brave, so you think he would like cross-country. Now, because her budget is so limited, um, it would be very hard for her to go and find something which can take her all the way to the dream in a go. So, if I was this person, I would go and think, I would want to find a horse that I could see qualities in, which matched my strengths so that I could take this horse, train it, um, take it up a little bit and then find a new good home for it so that I could build my budget up until because very often as you go down in price, if it's a quality horse and it's down in price a little bit, it very often comes with issues. It doesn't have to be bad issues for one person, but for another person I can, that could be, you know, the not consider bit. I'd have forgotten to say, but the number two lady, she wants the best friend, you know, she doesn't want to buy and sell, she wants to buy and keep it for life. Um, where the first one wouldn't mind it, and the third one is almost needing to do it to be able to build up her budget. And that a horse that somebody really doesn't get along with and, you know, it's a horse that they don't gel very well can be someone else's perfect horse. So, to finish this off, I'm going to take you outside and um, introduce you to Dancer and then give you my top 10 tips of what I think is important when you go out and you want to look for a new best friend or a new equine partner or, um, you know, your new little project because the horses are a lot of things to us and they're different for every person. I think that's really important to remember 
so we don't judge one another so much. Rather try to help one another. Number one on my list, I have put, be honest about your abilities, your desires and your budget. Two, don't rush, it's important that you take your time. Three, take someone whose judgement you trust with you when you try the horse. Four, take your priority list with you and don't deviate from it because there's a reason you put it there in the first place. Number five, have a good trainer and a good backup team. Six, make a list of all important questions you want answered. In the heat of the moment, it's very easily done to forget one or two. Seven, try it several times in different locations and environments if you can. Eight, consider types of horses and breeds that you haven't thought about before, as long as they're not conflicting with the list that you made of high priorities and things you don't want. Nine, research the market see what's out there and see what they're, they are priced at at the moment because this goes up and down all the time and lastly if it doesn't feel right then don't buy it what do you think princess huh thank you this is really stupid <laughs> am i to stop yeah six make a list of inquest <laughs>